Hey there, tech heads. Welcome back to Tech PhD, where we talk about everything tech for everyone. And as we all know, voice assistants have become a staple of our daily lives for the past couple of years, especially if you have some smart appliances in your home. We use our voice assistants to turn on our lights, our refrigerators, and things like that. And there are a ton of voice assistants nowadays. We have Google Assistant, we have Siri, we have uh, Cortana on Microsoft products, we have Alexa, and we even have Bixby, right? And Samsung, being a company that tries to be as independent as possible, has tried to make different iterations of voice assistants over the years as well, starting with S Voice and then with Bixby. And we all know how Bixby was received, right? It was not as polished as we expected it to be. It was nowhere near Google Assistant or even Siri. Even simple tasks like uh, text to speech were a problem for Bixby to handle. But Samsung never really gave up and they really wanted us to fall in love with their voice assistants, even going as far as to put a dedicated Bixby button on several of their flagship smartphones. And they even went ahead to improve some of Bixby's features and then add some useful features like Bixby routines and so on and so forth. But that still seems to not be enough as a lot of people still prefer to use other voice assistants over Bixby. In comes a new competitor to the game, also coming from Samsung, and this is Sam. Like I mentioned in my previous video, Samsung Sam is their all new voice assistant that has been animated by Lightform Studios and she looks very, very interesting to say the least. And she's different in the sense that she actually has an appearance. Unlike Google Assistant or even Siri, we have a face to attach to the voice that is you know, assisting us in our day to day activity. This makes it feel a lot more personalized and it makes it feel like you're actually interacting with another individual, even if it's just AI. Now think about in a couple of years when holograms will become a lot more well utilized, Sam could become a forerunner to a reality where we are all able to interact with our virtual assistants the same way Master Chief from Halo interacts with Cortana. Doesn't that seem really interesting to you? I mean, it's better than just talking to a giant shapeless blob or sphere like Jarvis, for example. So as of right now, we still don't have any concrete details as to what Sam can do, but it's definitely going to still be on par with what Siri and even Google Assistant can do right now probably with a little bit of a more personalized twist to it. So maybe Sam could become your new voicemail machine, for example, and tell people why you're not able to answer the phone at the particular moment. Maybe Sam could do so many personalized tasks for you. I don't know. The future is totally limitless. And I really hope that Samsung is able to pull this off based on just the sheer amount of hype that is surrounding their new virtual assistants. Now, I've seen a lot of Reddit memes concerning Sam, ranging from innocent memes like people saying, oh, how can I trade in my iPhone for a Samsung device, to more adult contents concerning Sam, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, Reddit is a very interesting place to be. <laughs> Samsung has no doubt received a lot of publicity due to all the attention that Sam is getting and I'm pretty sure their market share is going through the roof right now and there is still no word on availability so what devices Sam is going to be available on are still a mystery to us but I would personally really hope that they would be able to roll out this feature onto all devices running One UI but only time will tell. So let me know what you think about Sam in the comment section right below the like button. Do you think she's gonna put up a good fight against Google Assistant and even Siri? Do you think she's the ultimate waifu? Because as an anime nerd myself, oh my goodness, I waifu Sam a lot. <laughs> But that aside, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so as you're helping the channel out a lot. And with that said, you stay cool, stay safe, wear your mask as always, and I'll catch you in the next Tech PhD production. Peace.